Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Color Combos with Crystal. On this Tuesday, we have a watercolor vellum creation. I can't wait to show you this gorgeous card. We're going to be using Gracie Ellie Designs Happy Moments using the Wishing You Happiness and that gorgeous stamp set along with two pieces of cardstock and a piece of vellum just big enough for those flowers. You're going to need embossing pad and white embossing powder along with a selection of blue inks. It's a boy, something borrowed in Juniper. You want to get water-based inks. You need a piece of a paper towel and a brush. Let's get started. We are going to be using the darkest of our blue. You do not have to use these colors. If you have a stamping up, that's also a water-based ink. The Gina K is a water-based ink. Any water-based ink will do. We're going to put the color on the lid and begin doing a wash on that top part. Next, we're going to grab a really light, a really bright blue, royal blue. And feel free to layers and you can see the gorgeous strokes and I'm gonna kind of taper off at the right side so it looks a little lighter and it creates that watercolor effect we're gonna move on to that lightest of blues when you're using a really light blue color you have to layer several times so you can see my piece of cardstock is gonna start curling one it is not watercolor cardstock it's just 110 pound Joanne's water uh just joanne's paper and we're gonna come in and add two more washes as that top part dries gonna add a little bit of colors in between to break those layers up Alrighty, now we're gonna begin to heat emboss that gorgeous floral from gracie ellie designs we're gonna ink up that gorgeous red rubber goodness preheat your uh heat gun or um, your embossing gun because with vellum if you leave the heat too long it will curl and especially using the image and it's just going to be placed on top with very minimal um, adhesive you want to put the gun the least amount of time on your heat embossing so i've preheated my gun see how fast it goes don't burn yourself, that hurts. <laughs> and once that's cooled off, we're gonna begin cutting it. We're gonna leave a very, very thin piece of vellum around. I mean, the vellum is really gonna come through on the florals and on the jar. This is a great way to not color on your cards, so it would be easy to uh, mass produce. So we're gonna begin to assemble our card. We're gonna stamp the sentiment. We're just gonna use uh, the pieces to place this where we wanna stamp it so it's not too far up or too far down. We're gonna stamp the wishing you happiness with that darkest of blue. Once that's done, we're gonna put foam adhesive on the back of that watercolor panel. I love how clean it turned out, so pretty. And then on the thick parts of the embossing, so on the circle and on the leaves, we added more foam adhesive and we're placing them. You could splatter this with some watercolor, add some Nuva drops. It just turned out really pretty. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See what else we have here for you. Thanks so much, have a great day.